The story of humanity is a long and complex one. We constantly seek to understand our origins. Sometimes, answers come from unexpected places. One such answer came from an African-American man named Albert Perry. Perry lived in South Carolina and submitted his DNA for genealogical research. His Y chromosome was unlike any other ever seen. It was incredibly ancient. The Y chromosome is passed down almost unchanged from father to son. It allows scientists to trace paternal lineages far back into time. Most Y chromosomes trace back to a common ancestor, Y chromosomal Adam. He was thought to have lived around 200,000 years ago. Albert Perry's Y chromosome, however, did not fit this picture. It was much older, suggesting a far deeper ancestry within Africa. The initial analysis suggested his paternal lineage diverged about 340,000 years ago. This was a date far earlier than previously accepted for Y chromosomal Adam. Perry's ancestors belonged to a branch of the human family tree that was incredibly old. This discovery prompted a re-evaluation of our species' deep past. Perry's Y chromosome was found in Africa, specifically in a region of Cameroon. This suggested that the roots of human paternal ancestry were even deeper in Africa than previously imagined. It was a clear genetic signpost pointing to the African continent. This continent was not just a stage for human evolution, it was the very source of it. Albert Perry's ancient Y chromosome lineage confirms Africa as the cradle of humanity. This lineage is the oldest known branch of the human Y chromosome tree. Its discovery in an individual with recent African ancestry anchors our paternal origins firmly on the African continent. The timeline of human migration out of Africa is a grand epic. Early modern humans began to venture out of Africa perhaps between 60,000 and 70,000 years ago. These small groups of hunter-gatherers carried with them the genetic seeds that would populate the rest of the world. When these small groups left Africa, they carried only a subset of the genetic diversity present in their homeland. This is known as a founder effect or a genetic bottleneck. Populations outside of Africa have significantly less genetic diversity than populations within Africa. Why chromosome studies including Perry's lineage help us map these ancient human journeys. The discovery of such an ancient Y chromosome lineage within Africa solidifies the continent's role. It is the starting point for all human paternal lines that subsequently spread across the globe. Africa is home to an astonishing amount of human genetic diversity. This diversity is far greater than that found on any other continent. Modern humans originated in Africa and lived there for hundreds of thousands of years before migrating elsewhere. This long period allowed for a vast accumulation of genetic mutations and variations within African populations. Different groups adapted to diverse environments across the vast continent. In stark contrast, populations outside of Africa exhibit much lower levels of genetic diversity. The relatively small bands of humans who migrated out of Africa carried only a fraction of the continent's total genetic richness. Africa holds the key to understanding the full spectrum of human genetic variation. This incredible genetic diversity within Africa tells a profound story about our shared past. It signifies that Africa was our species' homeland for an immense span of time. The diverse environments of Africa shaped our ancestors. Studying this diversity allows us to look back into this deep past. Understanding African genetic diversity has critical implications for the present and future. Recognizing Africa as the wellspring of human diversity is essential for a complete picture of who we are as a species. For a long time, historical narratives crafted primarily in Europe often marginalized Africa's role. Modern genetics and archaeology are rewriting these narratives. They provide undeniable evidence that Africa was the very center of human history. Genetic evidence such as the Y chromosome findings including Albert Perry's lineage is a key part of this correction. Another powerful line of genetic evidence comes from mitochondrial DNA or mtDNA. Studies of mtDNA from people worldwide trace back to a common ancestral group of women, mitochondrial Eve. These studies place mitochondrial Eve in Africa, living around 150,000 to 200,000 years ago. Beyond genetics, archaeological discoveries across Africa paint a vivid picture of early human ingenuity. Evidence of advanced stone tool technologies appears in Africa much earlier than in Europe or Asia. Discoveries of ancient art demonstrate complex thought and cultural expression. Recognizing this rich history is about acknowledging the full depth and breadth of the human experience, rooted firmly in African soil. 
The knowledge that all humanity shares a recent African origin has profound modern implications. It reshapes our understanding of ourselves and our connections to one another. This understanding is particularly vital in fields like medicine and healthcare. Recognizing our shared yet diverse African genetic heritage is changing this. Understanding the vast genetic diversity within Africa is crucial for personalized medicine. Different populations can have different susceptibilities to diseases. They can also respond differently to medications due to their unique genetic makeups. By including genetically diverse populations, especially from Africa, in research, scientists can uncover new genetic variants. This knowledge can lead to more targeted and effective treatments for everyone. It fosters a more inclusive and equitable approach to healthcare. These genetic discoveries reinforce a fundamental truth. We are one human family. Despite superficial differences in appearance, all humans are remarkably similar genetically. Our journey as a species began in Africa, and understanding this origin helps us better navigate our shared future. This knowledge underscores the profound interconnectedness of all people.